Hi guys, welcome back to Another Day in Erin. This is a series where we get to know more about the people who have been around us for a long time. And today, I am here with one of my very close friends, Pika1998. Hello. So let's get into the questions. The oh wonderful questions. Okay. So how long have you been playing for? Uh, I started May 31st, 2015. That is... Very many, specific, I how, know. How many years is that now? That's... Uh, that is getting close to eight years. Yeah. Wait. Okay, so that's so weird, because 2015 feels like it's not that far away, but it is now. It really doesn't. But like, yeah, the other day we were talking about... Or it was actually yesterday. Yesterday we talked about how, like, you were technically still around for, like, the times when even the auction house wasn't around yet. Yeah, I... I remember the auction house coming out and being very irritated by it. I didn't like it, because um, it reminded me a lot of what happened with RuneScape and the Grand Exchange. It just took away a lot of the community aspect of selling things. Right. Actually, let's go into that. Um, are there any other uh, games that you like to play, like on the side? I play way too many games. I play RuneScape, I play Destiny, I play... Let me double check Steam here real quick. I am a huge Souls fan, I will say that, because I'm insane, I guess. Um, <laughs> recently, you introduced me to Hunt, and yes. that has been a mild addiction so far. I've had it for less than a week, and I've already put 12 hours into it with while working still. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. <laughs> um, other than that, it's mostly just rhythm games. Yeah, you like to uh, stream that for uh, for us every yeah. night. Yeah. Or not every, every night, but... Not every yeah. night, not yeah. every night, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'd say, like, maybe once a week or so, I'll be just casually playing it. Yeah. The game while everyone's in voice chat. I, I could never do it. I'm gonna be honest, like, <laughs> I see how good you are at that, and it's just like, I couldn't do it. I'm more of an audition person, and even then, I feel like I'm, I'm not that good at that one either. I don't know, I... I... Rhythm games are so weird, though, because, like, each one has its own quirks on how they play. Yeah. Like, Friday Night Funkin' is one that I play a lot, and depending on what mod you're playing, it totally changes the gameplay. But then I also play DJ Max Respect 5, and that is much more precise on keystrokes. If you aren't hitting it perfectly, your score is getting deducted. Yeah, I feel like rhythm games in general have to do something like that to be different from each other. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's all going to be the same thing. Oh yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's kind just... of a hard thing to... Yeah, it's just different, different skinned, different music. That's really all it is at that point. Right. So, uh, if there was a place in the world that you've either been or have always wanted to go to that you would recommend someone try going to to visit, where would that be? Finland. Finland. I kind of, I knew you were, you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I went to Finland in August of this last year to go to a wedding. And it was actually really awesome for me because not only did I get to go there and spend time with some really close friends, but um, one of the friends that I met there is actually one of my best friends that I met on Abby. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ansi, one of the guys I've talked about quite a right. bit. He's, right. Yes. He, I met him on Abby. We were in Dunbarton on Channel One back on Rari. He was standing at his shop playing music and. Uh, this is shortly after I got into Bard, actually. Right. Um, so I was like, like this is when I was still playing the game, unmuted and enjoying life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, and he was just playing some cool music. I hadn't heard this type of music before. He was playing one of them. Uh, he was he's a battle mandolin user, which I thought was really strange. Now, like reflecting on it, uh, you don't really run into too many people who you have a battle mandolin and I actually have play one. it. I actually have one. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I just like I just sat there and was listening to music with him, and he started talking. And then, uh, like I was playing more actively at night at that point, and so I'd run into him like every other night or so. Right. And we just ended up becoming really good friends. Yeah, because like Finland is um, like a completely different time zone. Oh yeah, it's uh, ten hours ahead. Jeez. For me. Or yeah. Yeah. yeah for for us, because we're both in. Uh, yeah, we're both Pacific. in PST. Yeah. PST, PDT, depending on whatever. <laughs> we go by Nexon time. Yes. Yeah, and he's plus two, I believe, is the actual time zone. Ooh, Whereas okay. we're minus eight. 
Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. I remember seeing that all the time, every time I sw have to switch mm -hmm. my time zone anywhere on anything. Yep. Alright, so do you have a favorite way of earning gold? Oh, jeez. Um... Actually, yes. Uh, I don't get to do it too often, though, because it's very hard to come by items that'll allow me to do it. Oh. I very much enjoy crafting. Yes. Um, yes. And you've you've ran into this <laughs> yes. definitely. Yeah, I was actually I, expecting that to be your answer, honestly. Yeah. Um, I just it's something that I don't get to do often. Like I actually haven't made anything to sell since I made the Burnham Plate boots. Right. Um, that we sold. Yes. Um, and. I mean, that's been, what, months now? <laughs> yes, can I... I, I want to actually tell a little story about that. Um, oh. So, I didn't know... I, I had the Burnham Plate Boots manual in my bank for, like, the longest time, because I had, like, a list of manuals and stuff in my bank on a certain um, one of the tabs that I had for one of my characters. And then, like, I screen shared for Pika because I had noticed I had, like, quite a few, um, and he was good at crafting. So I was like, okay, so are any of these, like, worth anything? And I remember um, picking up the Burnham one and placing it in the auction house uh, and <laughs> seeing that they were, like, 50 mil or some something like that. Uh, I think it was 32 mil was what it was listed at at that moment. Oh, was it? If I remember right. I, I think so, because it wasn't quite 50. But I remember us looking at the actual ones that were on the auction house, and they were all only, like, two or three uses each. Yeah, I was like, Whereas whoa. yours was entirely fresh. It was unused. Right, yeah. I was just like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I've just been sitting on this the entire time. And then Pika's <laughs> like, oh yeah, I can make them for you. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> and yeah, then we did. We got four signed out of that, I think. Yeah, oh my out god. Out of that one manual. So great. Yeah, because I remember, or yeah. Yeah, I think so, four. Four of yeah, them. Yeah, because you gave me one of them as like my compensation for doing <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though... Let's be honest, uh, you technically got scammed by me, um, but <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, Tamara the scammer and uh, Pika's, the, <laughs> Pika's the nice guy that let me scam him, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll remember that forever <laughs> as our friendship. Uh, no, Evidently. no, but <laughs> thank you though, still. I don't know, you got me into, I don't know, you got me into Hunt and that's, that's pretty sus as well. Uh, oh, I mean, everything in Hunt is sus, so... <laughs> Exactly. True, exactly. True. What is your favorite NPC? Favorite NPC? Um, actually, that is a good question. Is it like uh, something you've like never really? Yeah, like I mean, there's moments where I like have I've had favorite characters in like generations. Um, I mean, doing the Divine Knights, it's we share the same favorite character. <laughs> right, yeah. Pine um, or Pine or however you want to say however it. However you want to call it. Yeah. Um, like, thinking about G... The first generation of Apocalypse, G22, right? G22? Sounds uh, right. I can't remember anymore, honestly. Yeah, G22. Um, G22... Um... Vayne was my favorite. Going into G23, I actually really liked Mananen. Oh. Which I was really surprised by. Um, yeah, like, I actually liked a god character. That was weird. <laughs> that, that is weird for you. I would feel like you're more of, like, you like the villains or something. <laughs> I mean, he was kind of a villain, but not really at the same time. Like, he was just doing his thing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you just, you just liked something about him. Yeah. Uh, G24, um, G24 is actually probably my favorite gen, and that's actually not because of, like, anything that really happened main story-wise. It's actually side story is why I like it. Oh, okay. Um, G24 uses a lot of characters from the Sawin event, or Samhain, if you're um, not familiar with the, uh, I don't remember. It's the uh, the Lovelin event with the music partner. Oh, oh, when she that, was, that was the time. Okay, that was the time. Yeah. yeah. No, I was playing Black Desert at the time. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, when she was introduced, there was this event called Sawin, and um, Sarah, the kind of villain at the start of G24, is actually her grandfather. Okay. And um, when you get the in G24, you get this little like a uh, sailing log, and it's actually Lovelin's diary. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. 
Um, and so I actually still keep that item in my inventory because I love it. It's just, it's a lovely piece of that event because um, all of the logs that are in the sailing log are actually from the event as well. Right. Uh, the puzzles and everything that you did during that small portion of G24 are literally straight from the event. So and wait, I loved that event. <laughs> would you would you say that um, that G24 is like your favorite generation then? Yeah, I haven't touched G25 yet, so. Right. Yeah. Guilty. No, I, yeah. No, I, I know why. I know why. Um, eventually, you'll get there. You'll get eventually, there. Eventually, maybe. Up. We'll see. Yeah. We'll find out next time. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Next time on catching up with emotions. <laughs> there you go. That's your next series. Just kidding. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, do you have a favorite talent? Favorite talent? Um. Yes. I know uh, what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, it's puppetry, isn't it? It is. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, it depends. If we're going combat talent, yes, puppetry. Um, if we're going crafting, it's blacksmithing. Right. Wait, why do you like uh, uh, blacksmithing? Uh, so <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad. Um, I I'm sure you've noticed. Like, I'm fairly anti pay to win. Right. Um, so I really like crafting. I don't like how RNG, uh, hill and engineering, and magic craft are. Right, and I also just don't really like that they're bundled together as part of pet trainer. Like, it's just, eh. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't uh, like that they did that either. That was kind of it. Kind of felt a little bit it lazy. Felt weird. Yeah, it, it was weird. Um, apothecary is just potions. Like it's there's no real effort involved in it. Carpentry is literally RNG on making the stuff. But blacksmithing and tailoring, you have the mini game. Right. But with tailoring, you have reforges. There are no blacksmithing quality reforges, though. Right. So when you see someone consistently signing something, it's because they're doing good at the minigame. And, I mean, yes, there's a little bit of, like, enchant work involved, because you have to have um, Rocket Arrow or Designer with Daunting and, I think, Steady? Yeah, Steady for the helmet. Um, and... Well, there you go. Anyone who needs to know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Those are the only quality enhancements you can get. Um for crafting yeah uh they don't affect magic craft or hill and engineering from what i've heard and what i've kind of tested it's really hard to test that though because of the stats being so random right right um but yeah blacksmithing is that's why i love it as my primary life skill is because it's a mini game it requires some level of skill um uh, and like it shows when you have it <laughs> right right that makes sense i like doing things the hard way <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, sometimes tedious makes you more satisfied in the end, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it... That's why I did Hill and Engineering before the revamp. Yeah, no, I did too. <laughs> I did I did all the life skills Christ. before the revamp, so I understand, don't worry. Like, before the, the like, skill training seals and all that came out. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. That I, was rough. I mainly did it, though, because there was, like, uh, back on Tarlatch, or Tarlac, however everyone wants to hear it, um, <laughs> I... There was a lack of uh, life skillers, so I just kind of did oh, it yeah. to help I others. I heard that Tarlock was like really, really heavy-handed when when it came to um, like valuing weapons. Like if you could craft weapons, you were making bank. Yeah, no, you you kind of were. You kind of were. Well, it depends because some people did it for free and then some people charged. Yeah. But I mean, it, like if you had your own materials and you were just right. selling it, like yeah, no, you definitely could. Hmm. Absolutely, one hundred percent. That wasn't something that you could really do on Rari to that extent. E uh, I don't know. I kind of heard that there was. I heard a couple like of I've I've talked to people who uh, like I've talked to people from other servers and stuff, and like um, I've heard Mari was the drama server. Alexina <laughs> was just the expensive server. Um, Tarlac was the weapon <laughs> enthusiast server. Oh, oh, and then wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. No, I thought... Yeah, that's the only thing I ever really heard about Tarlock, was oh, that yeah. everyone was, like, super into weapons. I thought you were going to say what everybody usually says, and that is, Oh, and Tarlock was the dead server. Oh, no. That's what everybody no, usually I, says. I, I, My first character was on Tarlock, actually. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, uh, no, you told me that. Yeah, I still have the character, too. Uh, it's just being an 1988 plus Tarlock. <laughs> oh, my gosh, the tag. The poor thing. Yeah, yeah. Stuck with the tag. Uh... But yeah, I never, like, asking other people, like, I never really heard what Rari was known for. So I've literally no idea what that, what my server was known for. Do you want me to, do you want Go me to tell it. you what I've Go heard? Go for it. I don't, I'm not saying that this is, you know, what Rari was. So don't come for me, people, please. 
<laughs> but the word has been that Rory was the hacker server. Hmm. However, I will say, in defense, I think that was every server. Uh, like, just being I honest. I think so, too. Because I remember hearing that about Tarlock as well. Yeah, we but did I have a like, couple I feel times. like um, the main reason why the Rory would get that more, though, is strictly because Rory, I think, was the larger of the three. Uh... When it came to, like, the pre-now merge. I, I think it was the I, largest of the three. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But that's something interesting, I think, to think about. But yeah. Um, so moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is there a specific item that you have always wanted but have never gotten yet? Oh, jeez. Even, um, if, even if you may never get it. Who knows? You know, that is tough. Um... Like, part of me wants to just be, like, simple and say, like, a Saluna, but at the yeah. same time, I don't really care about having a Saluna, so, uh, like, it'd really be more, like, being able to craft it would be the thing that I'd want. Oh, no, that's a good answer. I like that. Uh, like, I, I don't really have a dream item for myself, but one day I'd love I'd love to have, like, my friends decked out in gear that I made, like, Aww. you know, have a friend with, uh, you know, the Ruination staff that's signed by me. A uh, friend that's got, you know, their... Um... Oh my god, I'm just realizing, just you saying these things, these, this is gonna age. This is gonna, gonna age badly. <laughs> oh yeah, look back it's at this, gonna age. It's gonna, gonna be it's like, gonna age. the ruination staff? Ugh. Like... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like, Perseus stuff. Um, making a Saluna that has my name on it would be awesome. Like, I'd love that right. so much. Yeah, no, that would be awesome. Um, and it, just small things like that. I mean, the Hill and Engineering is kind of black because Hillman Engineering is actually really easy to sign stuff on. Yeah. So I don't think I'd actually be that satisfied if I were to do something like sign a Nightbringer item. But like actually. the blacksmithing stuff. Yeah, but blacks like signing a Selena would be. Yeah, that top would be notch. amazing. <laughs> I'd be very That'd proud be awesome. of you. E. I'd be losing my mind. I would absolutely <laughs> be losing my mind. I'd be like, guys, guys, look what I did! Look what I did! Look what I did! You'd want to like <laughs> record it or something. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, who wouldn't want to record crafting a saloon? Crafting like, a saloon, like, yeah. I remember when people would stream it, and there would be like 80 people watching. Oh, yeah. Because it was huge. Yeah. I like, mean, it still is to a point. You just People do it a lot quieter now. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, but yeah, let's go into the last question. And oh, that boy, oh. is always going to be... Well, not always, but some, <laughs> most of the time. Uh, what advice would you like to give people, whether it be in real advice or in game advice? Or both? Um, you know, this is actually something that I know a lot of people struggle with. So I'm going to say this. Just you do you. You know, don't don't do what everyone else is doing just because they're doing it. Like, I'm a puppet. Like, I love puppets for crying out loud. Like, not many people use puppets. That's and true. I don't even have reforges for puppets, really. Um, which is where people are like, yeah, oh yeah, puppets are useful, is you have to reforge stuff. You tend not to have, like, the best in slot mm -hmm. stuff either. No, I don't. Um, I mean, I'm walking around wearing ultimate gaze edge, because I'm, I made it, and that's what I wanted. Yeah. Um. So you're being you? I'm being me, exactly. And, yeah. like, that's, honestly, I feel like that just makes it better yeah. in the long run. Like, it's more enjoyable, both in-game and life. Um, you do you. I agree. Granted, granted, that doesn't oh. mean, like, go out and do, like, stupid, oh. like, absolutely stupid stuff, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't do whatever you want. You do want. you. Like, <laughs> not, not in a bad way. Please, don't yeah. don't go out yeah. doing things that you're not supposed to do, please. please. <laughs> uh. Don't quote me on it, please. <laughs> <laughs> People go out and do stuff that are that are bad, and then they, they're like, oh yeah, because this, this one interview, uh, they said it, and yeah. they said to do it, yep. so... It's this dude. It's this dude. He yeah. did it. It's yeah. all his fault. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> uh, no, but good answer. Good answer. I like that. Alright. Um, so thank you for doing this with me. No problem. It was a good time. <laughs> yes. I'm glad we got to do it finally. And, yes. And now that we are uh, in Phantasm, being here. Yes, we will do we Phantasm. <laughs> we shall do it. But let us say goodbye to the friends yes. out there, all of the people. So goodbye to everybody. I will see you all another day in Aaron. Goodbye. Au revoir.